Hello welcome to IT Expert YouTube video series. Today we are going to talk about Jenkins pipelines. What is Jenkins and why we use it? Jenkins is an open source automation tool written in Java with plugins built for continuous integration purposes. Jenkins is used to build and test your software projects continuously making it easier for developers to integrate changes to the project and making it easier for users to obtain a fresh build. It also allows you to continuously deliver your software by integrating with a large number of testing and deployment technologies. With Jenkins, organizations can accelerate the software development process through automation. Jenkins integrates development life cycle processes of all kinds, including build, document, test, package, stage, deploy, static analysis, and much more. Jenkins achieves continuous integration with the help of plugins. Plugins allow the integration of various DevOps stages. If you want to integrate a particular tool, you need to install the plugins for that tool. For example, Git, Maven 2 Project, Amazon EC2, HTML Publisher, etc. Advantages of Jenkins include It is an open source tool with great community support. It is easy to install. It has 1000 plus plugins to ease your work. If a plugin does not exist, you can code it and share it with the community. It is free of cost. It is built with Java and hence, it is portable to all the major platforms. What C continues integration? In a Jenkins pipeline, every job has some sort of dependency on at least one or more jobs or events. The above diagram represents a continuous delivery pipeline in Jenkins. It contains a collection of states such as build, deploy, test and release. These jobs or events are interlinked with each other. Every state has its jobs, which work in a sequence called a continuous delivery pipeline. A continuous delivery pipeline is an automated expression to show your process for getting software for version control. Thus, every change made in your software goes through a number of complex processes on its manner to being released. It also involves developing the software in a repeatable and reliable manner, and progression of the built software through multiple stages of testing and deployment. Jenkins. File. Jenkins pipeline can be defined by a text file called Jenkins file. You can implement pipeline as code using Jenkins file, and this can be defined by using a DSL domain specific language. With the help of Jenkins file, you can write the steps required for running a Jenkins pipeline. The benefits of using Jenkins file are. You can make pipelines automatically for all branches and can execute pull requests with just one Jenkins file. You can review your code on the pipeline. You can review your Jenkins pipeline. This is the singular source for your pipeline and can be customized by multiple users. Jenkins file can be defined by using either web UI or with a Jenkins file. Pipeline syntax. Two types of syntax are used for defining your Jenkins file. Declarative. Scripted. Declarative. Declarative pipeline syntax offers a simple way to create pipelines. It consists of a predefined hierarchy to create Jenkins pipelines. It provides you the ability to control all aspects of a pipeline execution in a simple, straightforward manner. Scripted. Scripted Jenkins pipeline syntax runs on the Jenkins master with the help of a lightweight executor. It uses very few resources to convert the pipeline into atomic commands. Both scripted and declarative syntax are different from each other and are defined totally differently. What tools and technology are used for C and CD? Continuous integration tools. Popular C tools include Codafresh, Bitbucket Pipelines, Jenkins, Circle C, Bamboo, and GitLab C. Codafresh. Codafresh is a comprehensive GitOps continuous integration toolset designed for Kubernetes and modern applications. It is built from the ground up for flexibility and scalability around Argo workflows and Argo events. It takes the best of the open source toolset and provides essential enterprise features like a unified user interface, a single pane for cloud-wide management, security validated enterprise grade runtime, end-to-end -end auditability, and cross-application single sign-on. Bitbucket Pipelines Bitbucket Pipelines is a C tool that integrates directly into Bitbucket, a cloud-based source control system. It lets you manage pipelines as code and deploy your projects to production via CD tools. You can use Bitbucket pipelines to create pipeline definitions and kick off builds. Jenkins. Jenkins is an open source automation tool that provides plugins to help develop, deploy, and deliver software. 
It is a server that lets developers distribute tasks across various machines and perform distributed tests and deployments. The Jenkins pipeline offers several plugins to facilitate the implementation of a continuous integration pipeline. Circle C. Circle C is a C tool that supports various container systems, delivery mechanisms, and version control systems like GitHub. Circle C can run complex pipelines with caching, resource classes, and Docker layer caching. You can run this tool in the cloud and on-premises. Bamboo. Bamboo is an automation server for continuous integration that can automatically build, test, integrate, and document source code to prepare apps for deployment. It offers a simple user interface for C or CD and various features, including automated merging and built-in deployment support. GitLab C. GitLab C is an open source C tool. It lets you use the GitLab API to install and set up projects hosted on GitLab. GitLab C can help you test and build projects and deploy your builds. It indicates areas that require improvement and lets you secure project data using confidential issues. Continuous Delivery and Deployment Tools Popular CD tools include Codafresh, Argo CD, Go CD, AWS Code Pipeline, Azure Pipelines, and Spinnaker. Codafresh Codafresh is a modern GitOps software delivery solution powered by Argo with support for advanced deployments like Canary, Blue or Green, and experimental releases. It provides comprehensive dashboards that offer visibility from code to cloud while integrating with your favorite tools. A centralized dashboard gives insight into deployments at scale while providing the security and support enterprises need. Argo CD Argo CD is a Kubernetes native CD tool optimized for GitOps. It stores configuration in a Git repository and automatically applies it to Kubernetes clusters, making it easy to integrate with existing workflows. Argo CD can detect configuration drift, monitor application health, and roll back unwanted configuration changes. It also supports progressive delivery strategies like blue or green and canary deployment. GoCD GoCD is an open-source CD tool that helps automate the entire build-test-release process, including code check-in and all the way to deployment. It works with Git, Subversion, Mercurial, TFVC, and Perforce, and has an open plugin ecosystem. It is deployed on-premises. AWS Code Pipeline AWS Code Pipeline is a cloud-based CD service that helps model, visualize, and automate software release steps and continuous changes. Notable features include release process automation, establishing a consistent release process, and viewing pipeline history details. Azure Pipelines Azure Pipelines is a cloud-based service that helps automatically build, test, and ship code to multiple targets, through a combination of C and CD mechanisms. It supports many languages, including Python, JavaScript, and Go, most application types, including Node.js and C++, and targets such as virtual machines, containers, on-premises, and cloud platforms. Spinnaker Spinnaker is an open-source CD platform for multi-cloud environments. It offers a pipeline management system and integrates with many cloud providers. Spinnaker provides a pipeline builder to automate releases, and lets you save and reuse existing pipelines as JSON files. It supports Kubernetes and integrates with tools like Prometheus, Datadog, and Stack. Driver Stages in a C or CD pipeline A C or CD pipeline can be divided into four main stages. Source Build Test Deployment each subsequent stage must be completed before continuing to the next stage. All the stages are continuously monitored for errors or any discrepancies, and feedback is provided to the delivery team. In an agile context, each development, whether bug fix or feature improvement, falls into the C or CD pipeline before deploying to production. Source stage. This is the first stage of any C or CD pipeline. In this stage, the C or CD pipeline will get triggered by any change in the program or a pre-configured flag in the code repository repo. This stage focuses on source control, covering version control and tracking changes. What exactly happens in this stage? If the automated workflow detects a change in the central repository commit, new version, it will trigger tasks such as code compilation and unit testing. Common tools in the source stage include Git SVN Azure Repos AWS Code Commit Build Stage 
This second stage of the pipeline combines the source code with all its dependencies to an executable or runnable instance of the development. This stage covers software builds, other kinds of buildable objects, such as Docker containers. This stage is the most important one. Failure in a build here could indicate a fundamental issue in the underlying code. Additionally, this stage also includes the build artifact handling. The storage process of building artifacts can be centralized using a centralized artifact repository like Yarn, JFrog, or a cloud-based solution such as Azure Artifacts. This gives us the ability to roll back to the previous build if there are any issues with the current build. Tools that support the build stage. Gradle. Jenkins. Travis C. Azure Pipelines. AWS Code Build. Test Stage. The test stage incorporates all the automated testing to validate the behavior of the software. The goal of this stage is to prevent software bugs from reaching end users. Multiple types of testing from integration testing to functional testing can be incorporated into this stage. This stage will also expose any errors with the product. Common test tools include Selenium Appium Jest Fpunit Puppeteer Playwright. Deploy stage. This is the final stage of the pipeline. After passing all the previous stages, the package is now ready to be deployed. In this stage, the package is deployed to proper environments as first to a staging environment for further quality assurance and then to a production environment. This stage can be adapted to support any kind of deployment strategy, including blue and green deployments, canary deployments, in-place deployments, the deployment stage can include infrastructure provisioning, configuration, and containerization using technologies like Terraform, Puppet, Docker, and Kubernetes. Other tools include Ansible, Chef, AWS Code Deploy, Azure Pipelines Deployment, AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Benefits and Challenges of a C or CD Pipeline In a C or CD Pipeline, Everything is designed to happen simultaneously. Some software iterations are being coded, other iterations are being tested and others are heading for deployment. Still, C or CD involves important trade-offs between benefits and drawbacks. The benefits of a C or CD pipeline include the following. Efficient software development. Smaller iteration steps allow for easier and more efficient testing. The limited scope of code in each new iteration, as well as the scope to test it, makes it easier to find and fix bugs. Features are more readily evaluated for usefulness and user acceptance, and less useful features are easily adjusted or even abandoned before further development is wasted. Competitive software products. Traditional software development approaches can take months or years, and formalized specifications and requirements aren't well suited to changing user needs and expectations. C or CD development readily adapts to new and changing requirements, which enables developers to implement changes in subsequent iterations. Products developed with C or CD can reach market faster and with more success. Freedom to fail. C or CD's rapid cyclicality enables developers to experiment with innovative coding styles and algorithms with far less risk than traditional software development paradigms. If an experiment doesn't work out, it probably won't ever see production and can be undone in the next rapid iteration. The potential for competitive innovation is a powerful driver for organizations to use C or CD. Better software maintenance. Bugs can take weeks or months to fix in traditional software development, but the constant flow of a C or CD pipeline makes it easier to address and fix bugs faster and with better confidence. The product is more stable and reliable over time. Better operations support. Regular software releases keep operations staff in tune with the software's requirements and monitoring needs. Administrators are better able to deploy software updates and handle rollbacks with fewer deployment errors and needless troubleshooting. Similarly, IT automation technologies can help speed deployments while reducing setup or configuration errors. Despite these compelling benefits, business leaders and development teams must consider some of the potential pitfalls of C or CD pipelines. Dedication to automation. C or CD relies on the consistency of an established tool set and strong automation to build, test and deploy each build. This demands a serious intellectual investment to implement and manage the automation which can involve a steep learning curve. Changes to the development process or toolset can profoundly impact the C or CD pipeline, 
so C or CD is often employed in mature and active development environments. Staff Discipline and Planning A C or CD process cannot bring full value to the business if it's not constantly generating new builds, testing release candidates and deploying selected candidates to production. This requires careful planning and expert project management skills. Developers must adhere to established development guidelines to ensure quality, style and architectural standards. Meanwhile, business leaders and project stakeholders can be extremely uncomfortable with automated deployments in continuous deployment paradigms, and meetings for manual go or no or go deployment decisions can be fraught with stress over unknown or unforeseen consequences. This can cause unnecessary delays all while new builds are coming through the pipeline. Communication and collaboration. No amount of automation and tooling is a substitute for good communication and collaboration among developers and project stakeholders. These interactions facilitate the rapid, efficient experimentation that makes C or CD so powerful. Automation and tools are just means to that end. How do you implement a C or CD pipeline? How to create C or CD pipelines? There is no one way to set up a C or CD pipeline. Precise steps vary between tools and the process to implement and that's by design, to tailor an incredibly agile pipeline that meets the needs of the business and its projects. Still, there are common steps and decisions at each stage of pipeline construction that generally apply to any C or CD process. Select a version control system to maintain code repositories. Determine if you need a hosted version, or a hosting provider. Major cloud providers also offer options here, such as Azure DevOps. Create repositories to house application source code and pipelines. Determine what build, or C, server to use. This can be self-hosted, such as Jenkins, or a third-party option such as GitHub Actions, Circle C or Azure Pipelines. Implement a task in the pipeline that compiles application source code into a build. In some setups, this will generate a Docker image. Run basic tests on the code static analysis, style checks to ensure its quality and consistency with organizational guidelines. The build should now generate an artifact, or container image, published to a store or registry. Initiate further testing on the build, as listed previously functional, security, user acceptance. If predetermined thresholds are not met, fail the stage. Publish results of tests and code coverage so they are easily available. Once the software build passes tests, it is ready for final preparations to production deployment. This may include multiple staged environments, such as blue or green and canary deployments. C or CD Pipeline Best Practices a business and its development teams can employ various methods to get the most from a C or CD pipeline. These C or CD best practices can help organizations derive even more value from them. Start small. C or CD brings speed and agility, so give the process time to evolve and enable developers to try different tools and steps. A business might start with a C pipeline and add CD later. Small filler projects are ideal places to try new tools and techniques that can enhance a broader pipeline. Define success. Understand the intended benefits, such as faster code building or lower error rework rates, and then implement metrics to measure those criteria. Compare the metrics against pre-pipeline performance and track those metrics as the pipeline evolves. This makes it easier to see the pipeline's value, spot problems over time, and invest in ways to build and enhance the C or CD pipeline. Document processes. Often overlooked and underappreciated, Documentation is an essential part of the development pipeline. It lays out the process and tools for all developers and business users, and explains how everything is related and configured. Plus, it can help troubleshoot problems. Documentation also contributes to an organization's compliance and security posture, enabling leaders to audit activities. Think about operations. Agile development paradigms, such as DevOps and continuous deployment, embrace both operations and development roles. Developers must understand both deployment and operations, and take greater ownership of the software's reliability and performance. Business and project leaders must foster and reinforce this attitude shift. Focus on feedback. Feedback within the C or CD pipeline is most effective when every step and every participant actively works to spot and address issues to save time and work efficiently. This starts with spotting errors in the source code and continues all the way through testing and deployment. For example, Find and fix a syntax error in the source code at the build stage, rather than waste time and effort during the testing phase. Categorizing and analyzing errors can also help businesses improve the development skills and processes. 
Infuse security throughout. Security scanning tools at the code level SAST and SCA tools are handy for early vulnerability and error diagnostics but can produce a large number of false positives. Security scanning at the test level DAST and EAST tools requires the software to be built and running, which means errors are caught later in the pipeline where bug fixes are more time-consuming and costly. Select the best security scanning tools for the tasks at hand, and use those tools to automatically update the bug tracking system and automatically generate tickets for fast examination and remediation. Embrace continuous testing. During the source and build stages, perform SCA, SAST and other basic code scans for style and security standards. When the build is completed, apply a battery of established test conditions using test tools. Start with simple functional validation, and systematically expand testing to more complex and comprehensive integration, in-depth security such as DAST and performance. Staff must carefully construct tests and test cases to validate the features and functionality of each new build as the builds, the project and even the project's requirements evolve. Frequently added new features require frequent tests and test cases. Foster communication. Integration and delivery work together but are often implemented separately and handled by different teams, such as coders and testers. A C or CD pipeline that functions smoothly requires timely and clear communication and collaboration between different teams across the pipeline otherwise, it can easily break down with unnecessary delays. Avoid waste. Creating and maintaining a C or CD pipeline incurs various costs for tools, infrastructure and resources. Inefficient use of any of these underutilized or unused tools, overallocated IT infrastructure for testing and deployments, poor coordination, insufficient evaluation of processes or tools can slow development and impair developer productivity. C or CD pipelines are dynamic entities that require frequent refinement and regular developer training to operate efficiently and reliably. This also means avoiding less obvious areas of inefficiencies. Don't make 10 different builds in the same day if there is no practical way to test and deploy those 10 builds in the same day. Teams and project effort must reflect the most effective use of the pipeline. Enhance the ecosystem. C or CD and other agile pipelines are ecosystems composed of tools tied together with processes and automation, with myriad alternate paths and steps for different products. Teams should always evaluate new tools and refine the processes to keep the overall pipeline as smooth and efficient as possible. Thank you for watching this video. We provide Hansman training with Labs Homework Group Projects Prepare you for the certification Provide real projects Internship opportunities Support you in Resume LinkedIn Staffing support Provide tech references In-person online class Class retake options and more Call us at 847-350-9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest videos.